Hey Parasites and welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog and I am actually out, outside where they're filming Venom 2 right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog and today we have a special unboxing i guess we have uh some stuff in here that i know that what's in there uh but i wanted to surprise you guys with it and i didn't want you to see that i ordered it and uh, this is only half of it i think there's still maybe two more things that are going to be coming out or that i'll be getting in the mail probably closer to the end of the week so uh so this is exciting i can't wait to show you guys what this is this is a walmart.com exclusive um so you can see the box here, walmart.com. And that's the only place you can order these now until April. Um, so if you want to order them, I'll put a link in the description box so you can get some for yourself. If you're interested in any of these, uh, please do check them out. Uh, but otherwise you'll see them, you'll start seeing them pop up towards the end of March or early April at your local Walmarts. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into these. Obviously it's Venom related because uh, this is the Venom vlog, uh, but let's go ahead and crack all this stuff open. Got a lot of packaging in there and Let's see what we got. Move the box closer to me. First, we have Venom Slime. And these run like $6.99 each. And they come with a character inside. This one looks to be a red Venom. Maybe that Toxin cover that nobody likes, where Venom, like Eddie Brock, is like a red Venom. It's got the yellow eyes in there. So I'm thinking that's what it is. Uh, and then there's also looks to be a Groot an anti-venom Groot in there. And I think there's like a dozen different characters. This is series one. And when you open them up, there's actually slime in them. So we're gonna do like closer look videos at these probably later on in the week when I get the whole shipment in. But I just wanted to show you just the initial unboxing and let you know what kind of content is coming up on this channel because this is all tied to Maximum Venom the cartoon and I really do want to promote this cartoon uh, not because I'm just because I'm interested in it and because I met the writers uh, they were super nice when I met them at D23 but uh, I've you know I'm trying to do some research and catch up on the show itself and I'm getting a little excited and there was a video they released the other day and I'll put a link to it down below that kind of gives you from Marvel HQ that gives you the history of the symbiote in the universe that Maximum Venom takes place in so it's a it's during a there's like a Spider-Man cartoon that Disney puts out and over the course of its first season and second season a Guardians of the Galaxy episode, and then back to Spider-Man, they've been following the, the symbiote, basically, and the planet Clintar. And it looks like the Clintar race is going to be invading Earth soon, and they're going to take over different Marvel heroes and venomized versions of them, uh, which is going to be a lot of fun. So that's what these toys are. So they're these there. Uh, I think they're, like I said, there's like a dozen characters you can get, and we'll take a closer look at those when um, when the rest of the shipment shows up. Um, I think I only ordered two of those for now, but I might order more later. But yeah, they have slime come out of them and everything. It's super cool. Um, next up, we have Venom himself. Uh, this is the Titan Heroes series. Um, so, you know, these are like 12 inches tall. And the design on this is awesome. I love the artwork here on the box. This is so, so cool looking. And he just looks fantastic. He comes with blast gear, I guess. So yeah, there's like a, you know, different gear that comes with some of these characters. Um, Venom here, an evil alien symbiote, turns Eddie Brock into Venom, a deadly menace and mortal enemy of Spider-Man. And I know I saw people like Bizarnage and a couple other people saying, hey, I watched this clip, you know, the clip that I'm, I put in the description box down below uh, from Marvel HQ that kind of shows the history of the, you know, the symbiote leading up to Maximum Venom, the cartoon, it does bond with Eddie Brock. And Eddie Brock, from what I understand, plays a big part. Uh, ben Promsky is the person who voices Eddie Brock. And that's how I knew these toys actually were available, is I saw him at New York Toy Fair and he posted a video on his stories that said you could buy these right now at walmart.com. So I was like, great, I'm going to go online and buy them. And they had free two-day shipping. And uh, and so that was awesome. So they got here really, really quick. I just ordered these things on Saturday. Um, and so, yeah, pretty awesome. And so, yeah, Ben Promsky is playing the voice of Eddie Brock and Venom. And uh, he's, as far as I know, has a pivotal part to play in Maximum Venom. So all you Eddie Brock fans out there who think the show has been neglecting him, trust me, I feel the show is going to make up for that uh, in a big, big way. Um, and then we also have a couple other characters here. We have a Venomized version of Steve Rogers, a.k.a. Captain America. And uh, lad, this looks awesome. He's just like a fully posable 12-inch figure. Uh, with the shield, uh, but it also has like symbiote on the shield. Uh, it has a head that you can put on cap that has the A on it, a uh, chest piece with the star on it, and a crossbow uh, as like a, a, a blast gear weapon for him. Um, so you can kind of see what he looks like here when he's like kind of venomized. So it's like a partial venom takeover uh, for the toys. But even in the show, they don't look like they're cut. Some of them aren't covered full head to toe in some of the artwork, uh, but some of them are too. So I guess there's, you know, going to be different transitions of these symbiotes taking over. And I know I saw people complaining about 
uh, Spider-Man and they're like, hey, why is Spider-Man in like white? You know, why does he look white and not black um, like the black costume? Well, they already done, you know, they already did the black costume symbiote in the show. That's the Venom costume. But these symbiotes that come down, they're from a chunk of Clintar that when the planet exploded on the Guardians of the Galaxy episode, a chunk of it survived and it's coming towards Earth. Uh, and then as it, you know, hits Earth, these other symbiotes, not Venom, but other symbiotes are going to possess, you know, or Venomize each of the superheroes. So you get a better look of him down there in the artwork, which just looks awesome. And there's going to be Marvel Legend toys coming out, as you saw at New York Toy Fair. Uh, we did cover some of those in my live, uh, recent Venom Vlog Live. So make sure you check that episode out too. We talk more about the Toy Fair toys that are coming out soon. And, uh, but yeah, like the detail on the drawing, I mean, the drawings look amazing, uh, but the, the toys are not bad, you know, for these Titan series. I'm, I'm actually came around to these 12 inch figures a couple years ago when they made some other Venom and Carnage ones. And I kind of liked how they look, but I definitely like the Venom I got today a lot more than the previous one because the previous Venom was really skinny and this new Venom is really bulky. Um, and then we have one more thing here in the box um, and it's a big one. So I'm going to move that box out of the way. It's a two pack. It's Iron Man and the Incredible Hulk, a Venomized version of the Incredible Hulk. And hopefully he'll get more time as a Venomized Hulk than he did in <laughs> Absolute Carnage, where he was like a Hulk for, a Venomized Hulk for like three pages, and then he got his butt kicked by Carnage. Hopefully we get a little bit more there. And But you can see some purple in there, some detail, half his face. So this isn't like, this doesn't peel off. That's actually part of the mold. They actually made him look like a Venom. And Iron Man will get a, a Venomized suit in the show as well. But I guess this is the uh, portion before that where he actually stands up to Hulk and maybe tries to fight him. It'd be cool to see him in a Hulkbuster armor that gets covered in uh, symbiote. That'd be pretty awesome. But yeah, then you go again, the logo, Spider-Man, Maximum Venom. Um, and then we have the artwork on the back here. And you get to see, like, there's multiple tongues coming out of Hulk. So that's really creepy. Uh, his eyes are, like, small, but he's got the white around him. It looks really cool. The artwork's fantastic. Um, it says, Iron Man clashes with Venomized Hulk, a symbiote with striking new powers. So, yeah. Um, I'm excited for the show. I think it'll be fun. And, uh, you know, it'll, it's mainly aimed for kids. So I know a lot of, like, older fans are like, oh, I don't like the show. It's it's too goofy or it's too silly. And it's like, well, it's it's kind of aimed for a younger audience. You got to let younger audiences have their version. Like, you know, when we were kids, we had our 90s version of Spider-Man. And I know a lot of you guys still love those episodes. But it doesn't hold up as well as as even I remember it holding up when I rewatched them. But it's still good. It's just not... Um, it's just, I don't know, I think if it was rated by people's standards today, people wouldn't like it as much. And uh, and so that, that's why I say, you know, give everything a chance. And, and also, if you don't want to, that's fine, too. It's a it's a show for kids, and so kids got to have their versions. But I'm, I'm excited to see what they do with this show. I really am. And I like that they're doing the Venomized stuff, because I thought that was a great concept in the comic, but I, I didn't feel like it was executed 100% well because they brought in the poisons and, and those things. And I'd rather just see a symbiote invasion. And I think that's what we're going to get here. So I'm very excited. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, like I said, I'll come, we'll do a video coming up where I open all of these and we'll kind of look through them. We'll kind of get a closer look at these, you know, Venom Bursts uh, or what they're called, which has the slime in them. We'll get a better look at all that stuff. And there is a Venom toy coming out that's like 12 inches tall that actually you could put slime in his mouth and it pours out of his mouth. Uh, but that's not coming out until the fall. So uh, for those of you who are looking out for that. But I'll put a link down below to Walmart so you can check these out. You can buy these online now, all the Titan Heroes ones. There's two other ones I'm going to get in soon. Uh, Spider Gwen or Ghost Spider or Gwenum, I guess, because she's Venomized version. And then also a Venomized version of Miles Morales. I should be getting those in later in the week. And then also there's a t-shirt you can order that's exclusive to Walmart, uh, and it's a Maximum Venom t-shirt. I'm definitely going to have to track one of those down at some point. Um, I didn't see a men's size one on the website yet, but they're still updating all that stuff. So there will be more things added to the Maximum Venom link uh, very, very soon. So yeah, give it a try if you want these figures. Get them at walmart.com right now, or if you're watching this after April 2020, hopefully uh, you're not watching it too far after because the toys might not be around anymore. Uh, but if you're watching them you know, this year, you know, hopefully you can track these down too. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And as always, we'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks for watching the show as always. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.